Our media madness segment tonight, you may not know it because the mainstream media doesn't want to talk about it, but what could be one of the most dramatic elections since President Trump's victory is happening tomorrow. The election is the Alabama Senate Republican primary where the establishment and grassroots factions of the party are set to go to war. And President Trump isn't on the side you would think he would be. Take a look at this. Tuesday's gonna be an historic election in this country's history and in our state's history. It really will depend on your getting out to vote. It will determine whether or not the president has the votes he needs in the Senate to stand up to Mitch McConnell, John McCain, and even our own Republican so-called conservatives who are standing in the way of the president's agenda. That's why he's here. That's why he's here to support me, because he knows I've got his back. I remembered Luther. We have to be loyal in life, you know? There's something called loyalty with these folks. And I might have made a mistake, and I'll be honest. I might have made a mistake, because, you know, here's a story. If Luther doesn't win, they're not going to say we picked up 25 points in a very short period of time. They're going to say, Donald Trump, the President of the United States, was unable to pull his candidate. Judge Moore is a man of principle, and what he says, when he says it, he's going to do it. Take it to the bank. And that's why we need him in D.C. right now. A vote for Judge Moore isn't a vote against the President. It is a vote for the people's agenda that elected the president. While Donald Trump may have decided to endorse Luther Strange for the Senate seat, Judge Moore is hopeful his plans for Washington will win over the support of Alabama. We can be great again, but the one thing politicians don't talk about is how we're going to be good again. And we, we can't be good to the heart changes. And God is the author of that. With me now, one America's chief White House correspondent, Trey Yinkst. Trey, thanks for coming on the show. Thanks for having me, Liz. All right, Trey, this is a very interesting, somewhat odd situation that's going down in Alabama right now. And I think it's funny that President Trump, in the clip that we just played, that he acknowledges that it's sort of a win-win. If, if his influence in endorsing Luther Strange propels Strange to a win, then he has all that influence. If not, he still has a conservative in the United States Senate. Well, that's exactly right. This GOP runoff election here in Alabama, either way, the president is going to come out on top because if Luther Strange wins the election, the president can say, I endorsed him. I was able to bring him back in the polls. And ultimately, he won this primary election. On the other side, if Judge Moore wins, uh, you have the president able to say that his base is still strong here in the state of Alabama. This is a state that President Trump won by 28 points when he ran against Hillary Clinton for president. Uh, so either way, the president is going to likely have a Republican winning the Senate general election in December uh, once they're going up against Doug Jones, the Democratic primary winner. Uh, but either way, you've got President Trump backing a Republican going into that general election, uh, no matter if it's strange or more, and the president going to likely have an ally on Capitol Hill when he's looking to implement his domestic policy agenda. Right, which just makes this, I guess, sort of war between the establishment and the more conservative wing of the Republican Party. It makes it all the more strange because it's not going to impact one way or the other. A Republican is most likely going to win in November. So, Trey, how did this happen? What led to this? Well, so what we're looking at here is really a reflection of Washington politics right now. We have Luther Strange, who is currently filling the seat of Attorney General Jeff Sessions, who previously held that seat uh, representing Alabama in the United States Senate. Uh, and then on the other side, we have Judge Roy Moore, who is considered more of an anti-establishment conservative. Uh, but when you look at how all of this unfolded, what we are seeing today on the ground in Alabama is a very unique situation. Vice President Mike Pence here campaigning uh, for Luther Strange, the senator uh, currently representing the state of Alabama uh, in, in Washington. And then on the other side, you have former administration officials in Mobile, Alabama tonight uh, campaigning uh, for Judge Moore. You have Steve Bannon. Uh, previously, we saw Sebastian Gorka, uh, the former governor of Alaska, Sarah Palin. Uh, so you're seeing some more anti-establishment conservatives on the ground here in Alabama uh, on the other side of where the president uh, would normally be. So it's a very unique situation here on the ground in Alabama, uh, but the polls are showing more ahead slightly, uh, but the only poll that really matters here on election day is the turnout uh, for those Alabama voters and ultimately who they decide uh, to go on to the general election in December. 
Right, and, and speak on that for just a second. And like you mentioned, you're on the ground in Alabama. You're covering this. You've been talking to people, getting the feel for the mood down there. What is it like? I know we were, a lot of us were distracted over the weekend by all the shenanigans that were happening with the NFL, but there have been a lot of big-name people on both anti-establishment and establishment side that have been visiting, rallying, stumping, trying to campaign for each of these respective candidates. What are the people there? What are they feeling? So on the ground, it's a, a very interesting sight because you see Friday night President Trump here in Huntsville, Alabama, where we're at right now, and he's campaigning for Senator Luther Strange. Uh, but Strange, a bit of a more establishment candidate. Uh, so some people that we spoke to in the audience of that speech said they weren't actually there to support Luther Strange. They were there just to see the president. Uh, but when they head to the polls on Tuesday, they'd be voting for Judge Roy Moore. We actually caught up with Judge Moore uh, when he was in McIntosh, Alabama, a town in the south of the state uh, with a population of just 225 people. But I think this shows the unique uh, campaign that Moore is running uh, because he is focusing more on more rural parts of the state, uh, trying to reach out to more religious voters, uh, more constitutionally conservative voters. And uh, you look back at the general election uh, for president of the United States, those were the voters, the evangelical population of the constitutionalists that President Trump was trying to target. And you actually see the person that he's not supporting in this race running a very similar campaign. Right. It, that's what that's what makes it so odd. It's a it's an interesting case study, as I'm sure anybody, any political analyst will tell you. Trey, thanks for updating us. Keep us updated as this unfolds tomorrow. And thanks for being here.